This video comes to you from Gongai Games, your source for Star Wars Destiny singles, sealed product, and tons of other great games. Check them out at gongai.com. Use discount code COMMANDO10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando for round one today from Gongai Games. On our left we have Sarah, she's playing Jin Cassian Mill and Kill, of course on Occupied City. On our right we have Brenton, he's playing Elite Snoke, Sienna, and Rebel Trader on the Weapons Factory, indicating he's going to be trying to drop some vehicles. The Roth does go to Sarah, 4-3, to three. so we'll of course be on the Occupied City, giving her that mill assist, put a little extra pressure on Brenton as he tries to drop his stuff. He will put his two shields probably on Sienna, maybe one on Sienna, the traitor. Let's see how he does this. Yes, so he goes one apiece. So he is playing with those Darth Vader shield tokens that he got at regionals last weekend. He topped four up in Washington. And we'll open up with a scrap heap. Goes to Brenton. Haven't gotten a look at either of these players' hands yet. Okay, we're going to open with Sienna. Hoping for the money, of course. Gets a one gun. Could be worse. All right, in comes Jen. The plus two and a discard. She'll get to look at the top three. Nope, drops the ATST. We also see a friends in low and a he doesn't like you. She puts the friends in low on top, it looks like. Goes to Brenton. Does he just Snoke Sienna here? Does he roll in the traitor and force the Cassian? That's what he's going to do. So, Rebel Traitor, after you activate, you can force your opponent to activate a character as its next action, or as their next action. So, Cassian has to come in, which he does. For a discard, discard. Oh, Sarah likes to play this as the mill version. She's going to take three cards, and, and likely mill two. Brenton probably knows that, because Sarah's a regular. Yep, so he's going to drop. Sarah's going to force him to mill, so there goes the friends and low. Yep. It is hers. I'm sure she dumps here. Yep, so there's one, two, three. And then she'll mill two. Oh, she got the fist, force illusion, and the seeker droid. Or sorry, not the seeker droid, the uh, ID-10 droid. Also, with the two, got a TLT as well as the, uh, he doesn't like you. One card left in hand, pays one for the cube, and Snoke will come in here. Blank, blank, and a money. He's going to have to use his last card to re-roll. Sarah does have two dollars, because she got one back for the scrap heap, of course, when she's... Dro dropped a bunch of cards. So she dropped one, two... Wow, not bad. So with the four from his hand, and then the one, one from Jin, and then the two from Cassie, and the one from Occupied City, that's nine cards off his deck. He's going to have to pitch to reroll, I think. I mean, I don't really see an option here. Okay, so he'll power action. Does he do Sienna? He does Sienna for three on Cassian. Oh, he does not pitch to reroll, so he takes two money, putting him at three, and then he'll go into the next round with five. He needs two more dollars there. All right, now Sarah has four, and she's got that Gen Blaster in her hand, so I'm sure that's what she opens up with. Yep, pays three for the Gen Blaster. Brenton's going to start losing cards here real, real, real quick. All right, so he opens up with Sienna again. The dollar, that's what he wanted. All right, Gen comes in with a 2 and a 2 and a blank on the blaster. She'll look at the top 3. 
So you see the uh, art caster, SL1 cannon is what she got rid of. I did not see the third card. The art caster sitting there on top. And then she will re-roll. Gets a two, so she's got six damage on the table. Gains one for scrap heap. Nicely done, Sarah. All right, Trader comes in. I'll force the Cassian activation. But we do see that Brenton has all the money he's going to want, but there's seven damage on the table. If she somehow has a way to do a little more, she can potentially wipe a character out here. So Sarah has been religiously playing this deck since the beginning. So there's a motive on one of the gen dice. It's a discard. So that will help for the health, but she likely discards here. As I was saying, she's been playing this deck since the beginning. She's very, very good with this. All right, so she's going to shoot. Oh, she's going after Snoke, so she puts five into Snoke. And then chucks a card. Gets his other motive. We also saw a blaster in her hand. She does have two dollars, but she may be saving for control. Let's see. Alright, so there was one for the chance cube, which he did pay. Chance cube rolls in with a dollar. Snoke's on a blank and a two indirect. So Brenton has three dollars, potential five with Snoke. I don't know that he needs that much right now. Okay, there's a hidden blaster for two. And will she ping the shield on the traitor? Yep, she does. Very nice. Okay, then with the ambush, she'll discard, pulls the dorsal turret. question is, did Brenton get his fire spray? He's also running fire sprays in here, obviously, since they're so strong with all these mods. So he's pitching a re-roll. So he must not have... He's got to have a vehicle or something in his hand, right? All right, there's a Sienna gun, a trader money, and a two focus on Snoke. Now he's sitting good. Right, Sarah claims. There's two indirect. She'll probably put them on Jen, which she does. Okay, so he'll focus the three money and probably the two indirects. Yep, and then does he Snoke? Nope, just resolved the indirect. Alright, and there's the power action for three into Cassian. It's one on Sienna. No shield any longer. And we'll go into the next round. Brenton goes the next round. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Wow, actually eight. All right, so she still has the E11 in her hand from last time. Oh, she's going to hit and run. All right, so Jen will come in, a plus two and a plus two, and a shield on the gun, but she can potentially reroll that gun. Immediately chucks the fire spray. I did not see the other two cards. So she'll reroll one of the Jen, gets a black side, and then gets a shield again, and then puts four immediately into Snoke with a hit and run, and then of course one for the scrap peep. Now that scrap peep technically should have, technically should have been taken before the shot, but it's all good. All right, there's a fire spray. All right, five left, and then he'll have to lose a card for the occupied city. Loses his mind trick. Here's Sarah's action. She'll field medic. Two on Cassian, goes back to four. 
Back to Brenton. This is a good match so far. All right, there's a power action. Drops the Art Caster for free. Now, Art Caster, when it comes in, allows you to activate that vehicle and then reroll a die. It does not have to be. Oh, missed the Art Caster trigger. Okay, Cassine comes in with a one gun and a blank. All right, back to Brenton. He's going to entangle both the Cassian die. That'll save him not only damage, but cards. All right, there's a one shield. Pays two. F oh, for another Art Caster. Ah, uh, he did not miss the Art Caster trigger. He had a plan. All right, so there's the three, and now he'll get to re-roll a die. All right, so she'll superior position the, so he did not re-roll, but superior position the fire spray die. Sienna now comes in. Oh, hold on. I think they're reading our, he's, I think he's reading our caster now. All right, either way, Sienna comes in. With the plus two gun. So the only other guns on the table are the one gun on both of the art caster die, because Sienna has a plus two, is why I'm saying that. All right, Sarah claims, Brenton can go to work, Trader comes in, the blank. Brenton only has one card in hand, but if he can... All right, there's one for the cube. If he can manage to get some focus on Snoke, which he does. Blank on Snoke and a blank on the cube, so he'll probably have to pitch a reroll anyway. He can at least ensure that he can put some gun... Or at least ensure he gets a black side with that Sienna die. But I think he's going to pitch the reroll first. Oh yeah, drops a cube for sure. Rerolls everything except the... Oh, everything including Sienna. Alright, Trader gets the indirect. we got the two focus on Snoke. That's huge. Money on Sienna. He doesn't need the money right now. Or at least this, this round. He has the... Yeah, you can focus three die either way, because even if he focuses the two focus, it's still three die, right? So, question is, how is he end up going to end up doing it? Somebody's going to end up going to a gun in one way or the other. The art caster has a three indirect, so I'm sure Sienna is the one that goes to the black side. The problem is he can't Snoke Sienna, right, if he wants to pair it, but... Right, so Sienna will go to the black side, and then he'll two-focus, probably to the three indirect and then the three money. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's what he does. I, he could put, Actually, I could see him going for... Well, that won't kill, because that's only one, two, three, four, five... Let's see, if he, so here now, if he flips this to the black side, that's three, and then he can Snoke Sienna. And actually, that's still not enough to kill Cassian, so. So yeah, so he went, so he's just going to put five into Cassian. Oh. So he just Snoked the traitor. She took off the shield and then put two into Sienna. Um, but that's one of the reverse. So actually, she's still okay. Cassian's still alive. Puts Cassian at nine. I said the O because I saw her take the shield off and I panicked for a second, but Cassian's still good. Well, not good, but he's still alive. So 
So Brenton's probably getting down. I, I wasn't doing a complete deck count. It looks like he only has three cards left in his deck, though. We will see when the first gen trigger comes on. All right, so there's the 11 for two. Okay, there's a friends in low. We'll get to see Sarah's hand. All right, defensive position. Yep, another gin blaster, and we know I saw another E11 in there as well. All right, so here comes Jen. All right, we have a one gun, a plus two gun, the three indirect, and then a blank on Jen. Oh, so it looks like, so she's looking at five, it looks like there's five, or she's looking at three, it looks like there's five cards left in deck, but Guile gets dropped, and then, did I see a fist in there? And then she's going to discard the top of, oh, it was a mind trick. And then reroll Jin for a discard. So Snoke is dead here, unless he can control the one, of course. And she did gain the money from Scrap Heap. So we know there's no second chance. Oh, there's a Force Illusion. That'll save Snoke. There's the Fist with the discard from Occupied City. All right, Cassian. The discard and a discard. That's pretty big. She can dump him, dump his deck here. Three cards from hand. Oh, but there's Entangle. Yep, never mind. Entangle for both the Cassian die. Cost him two. Two cards left in hand, she'll take one, I'm sure. He doesn't. Brinton's action here. Brinton hasn't even really done anything yet. All right, there's Sienna. Plus two gun. No reason for Sarah to... She's reaching for her cards. No reason to... Oh, she's going to pitch the reroll. I see. Right. It's not what she wanted. There's a plus... Or a two indirect and then a plus... That's the plus three on Jin's blaster, actually. Okay. Trader with the two indirect. Right. Pitch to reroll. It gets two indirect again. That's low chance. There's a 16% chance because that E11 has the one base and then a plus two. Right, he'll pay one to roll on the cube. Focus two indirect and then the blank on the cube, but the one focus will help. So he's showing one, two, three, four indirect right now. There's a pitch to reroll again. Low chance. Yep. She needs to be re-rolling re that gen die with the two base twos. Okay, there's a power action for four and direct. Oh, so she kills Cassian, puts three into Jen. And that is likely it. Couldn't mill fast enough, couldn't get what she needed. I think she needed to reroll that gen base. He's going to get something on the fire spray here. I mean, with the focus, of course. And remember, he knows what's in her hand, so. Yep, there we go. All right, well done. Game goes to Brenton. Uh, hey, if you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, give us a like, give us a subscribe. We will be back very shortly with round two from Gonga Games. Thank you very much for watching.